Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Bomber Crew. After the last episode where we took the HMS Campbelltown and we smacked it into a dry dock wall and then blew it up. It was pretty good. Let's go check out the briefing screen. Because we have some missions ahead of us. Obviously the war's not yet won and we must go on. We've got enemy damage down for the next two missions which is good. We've got three missions to pick from. These two are medium risk. This is a low risk. They pay the same, I think. Yeah, you're medium duration, so you're going to be long. We'll be flying to Bremen. Pays 1800 with 1200 extra. This one is a pretty short mission. Should be a fairly simple one. We fly over there, we blow it up quickly, and we bugger out. We have an enemy ace in the mission area, however, which does complicate matters a whole lot. Aces tend to do a lot of damage. You know, medium risk mission as well. I'm not sure if we're at the point right now where we can do it. Like, we don't have a lot of damage on our gunners yet. However, if we go to the enemy aces board... If we shoot any of these aces down, we get a big pile of money that we can use to upgrade our plane. And since we do have the enemy damage down perk... I think we might want to risk it. Yeah, so we'll, we'll head over to Calais over here. We'll destroy La Coupole. We'll get a bit of money. We might be able to get some extra recon done as well. And we'll be able to blow up a facility that is going to be built for launching things bigger than V1 rockets. I think that's a worthy cause. There we go. I did change a few minor things. I gave um, our gunners, Firefighter and Supercharge, I gave them an olive... Uh, Flight suit, and I've given Longstroke, our bombardier, the black one. So he's now in a black suit. I'm gonna have them just put ammo in all the turrets, because you can store like one more box in there. It, it's a thing you can do, so why not? We're gonna go take off, and we'll head to France. There we go, let's lock in the navigation. Beautiful. BBS, lean mixture. We'll raise the gear. We're getting reports that an enemy ace pilot, Felix Fader, is, it, is active in the area. Bugger me, I was hoping for an easy mission. That's alright, if we can shoot him down, there will be another three grand coming our way, which would be pretty neat. Try to fly low because there's a lot of clouds out. There's always a lot of clouds out, apparently. Like, I can understand the gunner not being able to, um, the navigator rather, not being able to see through such a thick cloud, but... Ugh. Oh. We've got a ventral turret now. Even if most of my turrets are still Mark 1, I hope that the fact that we have some skilled gunners with focus will be able to compensate for that. Ah, there's the famous English rain. And we've got clay ahead. Alright. New heading over there. Do we really need to go there? I mean, technically, you know, I suppose. We can just wait until we find uh, our mission target. Oh, enemy fighters. Looks like 11 o'clock high. Fair enough. There's a little Calais. Isn't it lovely? I hear it's lovely this time of year. Just not when there's unfriendly people around. Speaking of unfriendly people, there's our mission target. Sarge, lock into focus. You're on the uh, the dorsal turret, tur I believe it is. The top one? Yeah, the top one. You've got a good field of fire there. We are able to shoot him. Is it an enemy ace? Some yeah, there he is. You know what? Take us up to medium altitude. We're getting a lot of people incoming. How are we doing? Everything's still good. BBS, I'm going to have you run to the ventral turret. Because you're fast. You know what? Head up to high. Fine, you ignore my warnings, now pay the price. Fire fan, it's time to focus. He's right in our six. There we go, make them hurt. Grab some ammo real quick, because you're about to run out. Oh, that's bad. That's our electrics down. Nanon, get some ammo for fire fan. Need navigation update? Honestly, I don't think we do. 
I think we've got other things to worry about right now. Take us back down to low. Uh, we've got the corkscrew, let's not forget about that. <laughs> Stop shooting at me, you vandals! No. You know what? Super Sarge, get him! Get him! Oh, bloody hell. Oh, they're gonna be a pain to tag, aren't they? Yep. Uh, he's on fire, that's good. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, right. Oh god, this is so annoying. Oh, there he is. How did he get untagged? I guess it matters a little now. Yep, there he is again. Get in a nano. Um, give some ammo to him. Yes, that's long stroke. I'm glad I remember my crew names. Get the focus fire. Fire fan, get him. Come on. You're literally our best gunner here. Right, let's head around. We've had some other things to worry about, you know. This ace can make her life a living hell. Fire fans out of ammo. And now you get some. It'll be fine. You are forcing my hand! Stop making me shoot you! That's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Let's make sure we are well supplied on ammo. Oh, that's an engine on fire. That is an engine on fire. BVS. Put that engine out. There we go. Uh, Super Sarge, I... Uh. Can't tell you to get on the thing if you're... Uh. There we go. We're, we're getting back to the target area, aren't we? I hope so. Nanon, you're not on station. Get back on station. We need to fix the engine at some point as well, preferably. Takes up to medium altitude. There's the target. Just need to get in and drop the bombs, ideally. Long stroke. Get over there if you don't mind. Without that engine. We've got 11 minutes of fuel remaining. It's not good. Open the doors. Take us down to low altitude. Gotta be close right now. Oh, that's a fire. That is a fire. Coming in on the mission target now. Oh my god, how many... How many pulls does this guy have? Get the focus fire, get him, Super Sarge. Release the bombs? Good. Let's bugger off. We've got two bombs remaining. Close the doors. Get on the turrets. Take us up. Take us up. Just get us out of here. BBS. Put the thing on there. Get ammo. Bring it to fire fan. Super Sarge, get ammo as well. Oh, that's an aileron. Right, you. Get back over there. More enemy fighters incoming. Great. They know how to ruin a party. James. You need to be able to see the ground instead of waypoint, alright? Oh, great. Fine. Emergency dive, we're all inside, right? Yeah, nobody can fall out. Or fall off, for that matter. Lovely, that's what we need. Let's bug out. Is it the focus as well? BBS, you're not gonna like this. Oh crap, yep, yeah, we've got a fuel leak. And our oxygen is failing. I think that's acceptable. But we're running low on fuel, which is kind of a problem. We're also running on two engines. Lord. They're all on the, they're all right on top of us. You're out of ammo, but we just got you to get new ammo, that's good. BBS, how long until you've got that thing fixed? I can see the channel, that's good. We don't have a lot of fuel left, that's a problem. I'm gonna have to get you to fix one of those engines. I think we're more fuel efficient if we have all the engines. 
This is not recommended, by the way. This is very dangerous. Electrics have failed. Right. Firefine, you're out of ammo. I guess you're volunteering to fix the electrics, then. We have at least made it back now. There's the... There's the cliffs of Dover. Bloody hell. Alright, BBS. That engine is actually working again. Good stuff. Now get to the get your get to your station real quick. We need a lean mixture right now, otherwise we are gonna plummet out of the sky. Well, we've got four minutes of fuel left. There we go. That was uh not very fun. I had a feeling that Ace would be a little bit too tough for us. We barely made it out as it is. I realize that our oxygen is still working, but we're no lo we're not flying at a high altitude or anything, so it's literally not a problem. There's the runway, thank heaven. We're gonna lower the gear. We still have both gears, that's always good to see. Oh dear, I I hope you're not gonna Ah oh no, we're fine. Just look at BVS there, bravely repairing the uh, the engine as we come into land. What a guy! What a, what a lady, technically. Not historical, but you know, we don't give a darn about that here. Jeez. That was a tougher mission than I wanted it to be. Stupid ace. I know what I'm investing in. More damage on the turrets. And, you know, more armor, perhaps. Damn you, Felix Fader. We'll be back, though. Yes, sir, we will. At least everyone made it home. You know, that's always good. I didn't remember the corkscrew, but I was kind of too busy to do that. In my defense. There was also quite a lot of flack. Mid-altitude photo, not bad. They'll be a bit less, you know, great, but it will be safer. We've got hydraulics mark two. Get some crew gears. Tough and leather boots. Ooh, not bad. We'll probably go ahead and give them all that. Depends on the cost. Firefan boots. It's gonna cost us like I don't know, one, two, three. I'll probably give it to everyone except. BVS, which is like 600 bucks? Ouch. Yeah, we can get hydraulics. It's more reliable, which is good, but... Eh. We can get a top on, oh, that's fancy. Don't really mind or care that much. I'm, I'm honestly thinking we upgrade the mid-upper turret, or the... Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the dorsal turret. It's gonna cost us 1600 for one turret, and that's all we can do. Or we could add ammo feed to the rear guns, but that will power them down. Like, we've got the Mark IIs. These are Mark Ones, but they will have continuous ammo, so we don't have to keep walking back and forth over there. Which is, you know, a good thing. But it's, it's a difficult choice to make. I think I'm just gonna upgrade the mid-upper turret, as that one gets used a lot. Yeah, they tend to come up from above a lot, so having that upgraded will be vital. I think I'll leave the nose turret for now, because we've got, you know, a secondary gunner on there, our bombardier. <sighs> At least we didn't make too many critical mistakes, like leaving the bomb bay doors open for half the mission. But bloody hell, that was a that was a tough one. I was kind of hoping we could take down the ace there, so we could outfit our crew a little bit better. There we go, let's at least get some extra armor on the people that really need to stay at their station, like the pilots. If I leave my station, something's really buggered. Something's really gone wrong. You're gonna keep running around. We've got a combined survival vest. That's really good. Admittedly. But it doesn't offer any protection. And it also slows you down. So I'm kind of hesitant to give you a vest, I'm gonna be honest, BVS. I'll probably throw in a parachute for you. Medium O2 bottle. We're not at the altitude where oxygen is a problem, so... Because we don't have the, um... 
We don't have the thermal resistance yet to really be at high altitude for too long. And even then, if you put them at a station, they should be fine. It's when you're flying at high altitude and everything's going wrong and BVS is running everywhere to fix things, then it actually becomes a problem. But yeah, I think we're good with crew gear for now. Like, we've got the boots on our least moving people now. I'd like to keep James and Nanon as semi-mobile to fix stuff in case anything goes wrong. Which it will go wrong, of course it will. <laughs> you just saw that. We had enemy down, and I think it was the flak mainly, not the actual... Not the actual fighters themselves that were really the problem there. Oh, we got some low-risk missions. Interesting. I might head to Bremen. Or I might do the search and rescue, I don't know. I don't think we've done the search and rescue yet, have we? Possibly, possibly not. Uh, you know what? Let's do that, but first... We've got a thousand bucks left, or a thousand pounds. Fuselage. This bit got really hammered, but I think I might go for the armor fuselage in the middle. It's gonna get us 250 extra uh, armor over there, but it does weigh 50. We don't have enough to upgrade an equipment rack, sadly. That's 1700, and it only gives us one more slot. I think, like... I like the idea behind this, but it's maybe a bit limiting. I'm going to pack a parachute, just in case. I think that'll be a decent idea. I might give that to BVS before we send them out on the thing. Hmm. Oh, we can upgrade the fuel tanks later as well. This option wasn't there, like, a minute ago. Radar would be good, but A, we can't afford that, and B, eh. The ventral turret is useful. I'm glad we got that. You know, just as a... I'm, I'm just happy it's there in case we need it. I think I'm going to upgrade the middle. Like, we took a lot of damage there. We also took a lot of damage in the tail. Those enemies love to tail drag. But we kind of took damage everywhere along the middle of the fuselage. I'm going to go for the armored fuselage in the middle. And then we'll go do a quick search and rescue. It should be a low, <laughs> low risk mission. We do get paid less, sadly. I'm not sure why, but yeah, suddenly the reward for missions went down like 600 pounds, which is really annoying. On the other side of that, I'm glad we'll be able to do a mission without nearly dying. Because clearly that was a mistake. Raise the gear, lean mixture. We have to drop the supplies from low altitude. Yeah, we've done this before, but that's fine. Let's go throw another navigation beacon. I like the lean mixture. It means we can do a lot of things. It it really saved our butt last mission. Because we were like on a major detour. Oh, something's broken already. Bloody electrical system. At least BFS BFS is fast enough to get over there quickly. Electrics is out. No, uh, electrics have failed. The radar is out. We have to spot by eye now. That's not very good. Right, hello. Yep, there we go. Yeah, this is not good. Where are they? Where is the hun in the sun? Our cabbage crate won't last for too long without electronics. There we go, long stroke. Get down there. Open the doors, select supplies. BBS. Get back on station. Supplies are out. We've got the hunt in the sun. 11 o'clock high. Get him, Super Sarge. There we go, that's at focus. Lovely. Fire fan, they're on the high on the rear quarters now. Get him. Good more fighters coming in. That's it, boys. Uh takes up the medium altitude. We'll turn around just so that we don't fly into flak or whatever. Uh, I need to close the bomb bay doors. Oops. 
Right, BBS. Get off your station. Let's do this. Let's start resupplying people. More enemies on the radar. Right, dead ahead. 10 low, or 11 low. Doesn't really matter. Right, Nanon. We don't need radio. We don't need radar temporarily. It's fine. Resupply. Focus and nearly recharge. That's good. Let's pull a corkscrew. They'll never see this one coming. That's because it's reckless as all hell. It's fine. Let's make sure they keep resupplied. There you go. Pop the focus once again. There we go. That's got to do a number on them. We just have to clear the, the area of enemies. That's all. We can do that, right? Right? There we go. Good shooting, Firefan. We're flying blind, but that's fine. We should be flying roughly toward... Yeah, there we go. We're flying towards Britain again. How are we doing? You're nearly out of ammo. Alright. There we go. Doing good. Firefan is out of ammo, but we are already en route to resupply. That's fine. Uh, Nanon. Um, you just get in there for now. Get back on station. There we go. Things are not going too poorly. Focus is nearly recharged. Uh, one of our engines isn't looking too good. Aside from that... You know, focus, hello. I'd love for you to use that right now. Right, let's resupply them. There goes another fighter. I think that's the last one of them. Nope. Yep. Oh, all right. That's it. We are out of here. Not bad at all. Just resupply, just in case, I guess. Take a small risk. I want you to fix that engine. Grab the parachute, just in case. I could have you bail now, which is... funny. Oh no, the engine is fine, actually. Yeah, it's totally fine. Cool. Alright, that's that then. We're at half fuel. Might as well pop the boost. Let's get home quickly. We still have 9 minutes of fuel, it's fine. No leaks have been sprung. Our kite's looking pretty good! You know, could have been vastly worse. Took some major holes here, but armoring that section definitely helped. Let's lower the gears. Coming in with 13 minutes of fuel remaining. Not bad at all. And there we go. Not too bad at all. Not too bad at all. Bad payout though, but honestly, we we did it. We got away. Got the return of base bonus. We could have maybe gone and found out if there was any like picture opportunities. But you know, getting some crew levels is always a good idea. This will make our gunners more accurate, that sort of thing. Or you know, we can not get any levels except for like a bombardier. We got the headgear for the pilot. Fingerless wooden gloves, I want to see those. Those are probably useful. Let's see. Yeah, you give a movement speed. Oh, that's great. You're not quite as good as the wooden gloves, but you know, you're better than leather gloves in regard to heat. Not good for armor, but you, you know, BVS is not going to be doing many things that require protection. You just need to walk around fast, that's all. You now have 121% movement speed. That's really good. You're going to be the one lugging all the ammo around, after all. So the pilot cap mark 3, it just gives survivability. So if you want your people to be alive, 
Given the pilot caps, it's not just pure looks, but... I mean, keeping them alive kind of depends on, you know... Armor versus actual survivability when the thing goes down. I'm gonna be honest. I kind of like keeping them alive. In the armor kind of way. God, that's complicated. Right, let's check out the old cabbage crate. We get some more liveries. We've got the stars, but you know, we're proud British. Why would we ever wear an American insignia? Don't be silly. Please. We are coming up on our weight limit. I'm probably not gonna upgrade the ventral turrets. Like, it's an optional turret. It's the first one I will ditch when things go awry. I think I'll upgrade the tail to Armored Mark II, although that said, I kind of want to upgrade the front as well. Because it's going to help keep our pilot alive. Our pilot's pretty useful. Alternatively, we could go for more equipment. Or for survival. So there's so many choices and so little money. Ugh. You know, that's it's kind of annoying, in a way. Like, everything is so expensive. There's so many things, and you keep unlocking so many things as well. I'm not complaining, don't get me wrong, but... It's just a lot of choices. Like, if I don't have enough equipment, my crew might die because there's a fire. Or, I don't know, we'd run out of medkits. Or we have to bail and only one person has a parachute. <sighs> Alternatively, we could perhaps up-armor the nose a little bit. You know, that'll help keep our bombardier alive. Honestly, I think, like, the tail might not be a bad idea to armor. Because we do need our tail to be attached to the plane. Yeah, let's do that. And we'll armor the wings a little bit as well. There we go. I don't traditionally armor the wings a lot because he could take a lot of wing damage and still come back. I've never seen a wing fall off before. I have seen tails fly off. And, you know, the armor is here to keep the crew alive. And it's doing a pretty good job of that, I'll be honest. Let's have a quick look. What kind of missions are available? Ah, we're back to the uh, previous setup. We're back to the Aces. So the game did give us a mission to recover. We could do it, but... Uh, I'm not really feeling it right now. I don't think those odds are really all that good. I like our crew becoming a bit more distinct, however. You can see that James and Nano are not exactly the priority as they're not in really critical jobs. Our gunners always have the best stuff. BVS has the fastest stuff. Uh, yeah. Looking good. Looking pretty good. I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like one more. Which has the one more. Let's make it a long episode, why not? Let's check out the briefings. Uh... Bremen Tank Factory gets us 1800 with 1200. The other missions all have aces. I don't think we're quite ready to take out an ace yet, so let's go to Bremen. You know, we don't have very high damage tank um, turrets yet. We've got some Mark II's, which I guess is the highest we have right now, but still, I'm not really feeling it. Let's get some extra ammo for the turrets. That'll be a great idea. Get that ready. Get over to medium altitude, why not? We've got James, right? We can pick our own heading. We can make our own destiny here. We won't be a target for tonight. We'll be the winners of tomorrow. Right, so the rear guns, uh, the rear and dorsal turret have the upgraded weapons, the ventral and nose are the least upgraded ones. BVS, get me a lean, please. Good yeah, there we go. That's more like it. Conserve me fuel, baby. Yeah. All right, let's see how far we can go. Let's actually go for a custom heading here. I want to maybe follow the coast a little bit. See if there's any other things we might want to do. Oh, how did you get there? Hmm, huh, fair enough. Mid altitude, not bad. You're actually able to see stuff, James. Well done. I think we're good for now. Just keep flying that altitude. There goes the time warp. 
We have left the safety of Britain. Unfortunately. I kind of feel like we should upgrade our wings perhaps soon. Need navigation update? No, we're good. We're gonna go to Holland. And then we'll check out Bremen, I don't know. We might find something on the way. I do need some extra optional recon after all, because we do need more money. Oh, there we go, we managed to get like... Eight minutes more out of that lean. That's really good. That's some bloody good fuel efficiency, I must say. Like, it helps to not have the bomb bay open, it helps to... I don't think drop uh, ditching bombs earlier helps, but it might help climb a little bit faster. I don't know, we'll see. Leans with chart. Alright, let's do it. We're not in a hurry, right? We know we're in for a long haul. Getting slightly cold, but not nothing too bad. If we go, like, to high altitude, yeah, we'll be in trouble, but I think we're actually going to drop down to the low. There's something firing flak over there. Not just AA guns. So there's a hazard over there, fair enough. Oh, we're flying towards the city of Gouda. You know what, let's stick at medium then, because there's low altitude flak. It's gonna be real killer, isn't it? Could you... No, no, could you radio for recon? Because there's something over there that might, you know... Good idea. Let's bomb it. We've got bombs to spare, right? We're gonna ditch them anyway. Might as well for science this. Probably opened it too late. Take that, you buggers! Huh. Well, so much for the for science, I guess. Ah, there's an airfield here, fair enough. That would explain things. We're we nearly out of the danger zone? Yeah, sort of. Good, in that case we'll keep coasting. Target's over there. Haven't seen anybody yet. Oh, let's close the doors, by the way. Lean still recharging, isn't it? Yeah. Fuel, fuel remaining, though, wow. Should we pass the hazards now? Can we radio for recon again? No, we cannot. That's fine. Let's come in from a southern like direction. That'll be good. Keep them on their toes and all that. We could try bombing that airfield on the way back, I guess. Kinda depends on the amount of trouble we'll be getting into soon. A lot, probably. We're doing a good job of navigating the air corridor, though. They're doing saturation flag fire, which basically means just shoot the bloody air. Just shoot, like, this sector that you're assigned. Fair enough. I don't think it works magnificently well, but there you go. Hit lean. Electrics are failing. I'm not in the position to care right now. Definitely opened it too late this time. Nice job with the gunning there. Not shabby. Yeah, well, that's only select one set of guns. We're going to try to bomb some stuff on the way back. Oh, yeah, that's the uh, that's a danger, isn't it? So that's enough. It was good. Alright, take me up. Let's try giving him the what for on the way back. Oh, something is on fire. James, could you do me a favor? Down to 12 minutes of fuel, really? That quickly? Hey guys, could you focus for a second? That'd be cool. There you go. Give him the old what for. Oh, where's the other guy? One of them's firing at me right now.
Yeah, we should close those doors right now. Guards out of ammo. Uh, you know what? Get some ammo to the rear turret. That's nearly out. There we go. Where are we? Not able to bomb that. That's fine. We'll just ignore that then. We're definitely taking a more dangerous route. I'll give it that. But I kind of want to try and find some optional recon stuff. Like, there's a lot of stuff in France today. Uh, fans get decent ammo. Let's do a quick supply run while we're, uh, you know, not quite getting murdered. Let's get you in the ventral. Yeah. They're staying low, we might as well. Or rather, we're staying rather high. There we go, good kill. We've got wind of a suspicious sight in Belgium. Let's go and snap some recon photos. Can do. Oh, we're practically there already, yeah. There it is. I have a feeling that because it's a mission objective there, they're not going to count this as optional. And they're not going to pay me for it, which is really annoying. There they are. It's bloody pitch black. Well done, Jerry. Maintaining the element of surprise and whatnot. Let's not bomb it. Ah, it's a V1 site. That's annoying. Yeah, let's get out of here. He just lit another engine on fire. James? Oh no, we've got BVS there, it's fine. Lean. Put out the fire. Hit the focus. Let's get him. Corkscrew! Defensive, yeah, look at that. Can't touch this. No, can you? It does throw off our navigating. But that's fine. We'll just continue to get the hell out of here. Our fans out of ammo. You should probably leave that. There you go. Assist in the removing of the Hun. For the Hun is willing to have some fun. Most likely with his machine gun. It's all a setup for some terrible pun, isn't it? Right, lads, what are you doing? You can't reach me, can you? Yeah. Downside is we're kind of freezing right now. Fuel's looking good. I don't have to worry about that. Let's get some focus in here, boys. Come on. They're just German fighters. Nothing to be afraid of. Let's go down to medium altitude now. We're kind of starting to freeze a little bit. I think they've had enough. Take me down to the deck, pilot. Well, that was a thing. That happened. There we go. Sort of safe. Took some bullets. But we're good. We got the recon photo. Hopefully we'll get another grand from that. Let's hit the boost. Doesn't matter anymore at this point. Kind of wondering what kind of flying you're doing, and why all the bombing and weaving. Like, you're allowed to go and land, buddy. Yeah, you don't have to do five landing rotations. Nobody else is trying to land, trust me. I appreciate the concern, but just go and land. We're battle damaged, fatigued. Well, he was shut to bits. But we're alive. And in proper shape. There we go. Thank you for the money. Took the picture, but no money. Well, thank you very much, game. I didn't need that money or anything.
Level 5, level 5. Oh, that's good. Longstroke's got focus now as well. Sweet. Looking good. System uh, fight engine extinguishers mark 2. Thermal mittens as boots. Really? Really? You sure? You really sure? I kind of doubt it. Okay, those are not boots. Those are mittens. Don't list them as boots when they're mittens. <laughs> Just making sure that the game still makes sense. Ooh. Helmet Mark II. Yeah, I'm going to buy that for Fire Fan and Super Sarge. And Longstroke for that matter, too. It's expensive, don't get me wrong, but it's so useful. Would you like a helmet? You probably would, yeah. Uh, anything else? We can give the hand-me-downs to uh, James and Nanon. No offense, but you know. BVS, still running the old service cap with fingerless wooden gloves. And no boots. Apparently the plimsolls are really good for movement speed, so, yeah. And I think at that point you should also get the, yeah, blue beret. Oh, that's going to be so good. Now we can train a lot of our people here in secondary skills. I do believe it takes some of their XP. Like, long strokes only level 4 bombing. Everyone else is level 5, so it definitely takes some XP away for the secondary skill. That said... You're really versatile for gunning. Uh, I'll have a look at this. God, it's like... Half of me is like, I need to sneeze right now. And then the other half is like, no, you need to continue and do the video. We're just going to end the video here. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll have a think about all these uh, secondary skills during the uh, inter-episode break. And I'll get back to you tomorrow. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to leave a like and perhaps a comment down below as well. Your support, as ever, means the world to me. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I will catch you all next time. Until then, have a good one, folks.